OpenAI has officially entered the field of science by releasing a new model that engineers proteins in hopes of adding 10 extra years to your lifespan. So OpenAI has partnered with Retro Bioscience, which is a longevity research lab that aims to extend human lifespan by 10 years. Now, this particular project is focused on creating stem cells, which are extremely valuable because a stem cell can turn into any other type of cell in your body. So for example, if you have heart damage, you can take a stem cell and turn it into a heart cell to help heal. Stem cells are extremely hard to source. Actually, one of the ways that was very controversial was taking leftover IVF embryos, unborn babies essentially, and sourcing stem cells from them, which was a very big political and religious issue. So coming up with a way to reliably generate stem cells is an incredibly big deal. What Retro is doing is they want to take any skin cell and be able to turn it into a stem cell. And the way they do that is they tweak what are known as the Yamanaka factors. This is a set of four proteins, which kind of act like a reset switch for a cell. They can take any specialized cell and turn it into a stem cell. The problem is these Yamanaka proteins are very unstructured, which is why AI models like Google's AlphaFold would not work in this scenario. But the biggest problem is that the current process is wildly inefficient. It takes weeks on end and has only 1% success rate, which is where OpenAI comes in with their new model, GPT-4B Micro which is actually a small language model because it doesn't have nearly as many parameters as the standard GPT-4. The way it works is that it was trained on protein sequences from other species, as well as how those proteins interact with themselves. This new model came up with a solution where just by tweaking two Yamanaka factors, they became 50 times more effective. The Retro CEO said, we threw this model into the lab immediately and we got real world results. The model's ideas were unusually good, leading to improvements over the original Yamanaka factors in a substantial fraction of cases. A researcher from OpenAI said just across the board, the proteins seem better than what the scientists were able to produce by themselves. Now, the benefits of this are pretty incredible. Anything from accelerating drug discovery to personalized medicine and ultimately life extending medicine. If Retro is able to extend the human lifespan even just by a single year, that would add trillions of dollars to the economy, let alone 10 years as they're stating. And I really hope they actually achieve that landmark and blow past it. Anyways, let me know what you think down below and until next time.